So, you know, things happen like this. Um, but it, it just is, it's odd how you start thinking about something or studying something and then it seems everything is, um, you start noticing those things more. Um, that's part of mindfulness, um, which is one of the main things that got me thinking that, um, And it's just conversations you have with people or yourself when you think, whoa, that's amazing, you know, that's what I was thinking. Or you think you have this original idea and then you find out people have been thinking that way for hundreds of years. So I just, I think that's interesting. Um, I guess the thing that I'm noticing is that there are so many things out there already to make this game quick and easy and we could get right into it. Um, so I'm imagining that happening and the thing that I think we're missing is like so Kess tweeted out about a film that gets you aware of mindfulness and in it is a link to Goldie Hawn's foundation and Mind Up that gets you more mindful and noticing and all of these brilliant great ideas people want to either stick in school, they want to sell it to school you know because they need to sustain themselves or do it outside of school and I, I think it's huge that that should be school. You know, we should have we should have enough funds if we spent it right. If we weren't so obsessed with measuring ourselves, if we weren't so disconnected as a community, and we needed proof of ourselves, we should have enough money that that mind up piece would be free to everyone because it's part of public education or um, the whole idea of school as is being a node or just being a smaller part freaks people out because then they think we're not going to have teachers anymore and the way we're going at it with Race at the Top we're not going to have teachers anymore because people are too stressed with that but actually, I'm envisioning, I'm dreaming about just as many teachers, um, fully paid, um, or feeling like they're fully paid if they so choose, you know, maybe more of a co-op deal, the human capital deal, but also having enough that, I mean, because kids need more than the teachers, they do need more than what school has to offer. Um, they need 24-7 people that they can just hang with. Um, Clay Shirky's cognitive surplus that's in the people. And, and so imagining now just as many teachers. Um, less money spent on professional development for classroom management um, because there's no classroom management issues because people are choosing spaces to be in. But now all the other professional people, um, career people, getting time off, getting paid time off, or co-op time off, however they decide themselves, they want that um, to do, and they're doing, they're teaching. I mean, they're spending time with their serendipitous connection. Um, people at Road Narrows love and geek out on robotics. They're amazingly intelligent um, with programming and um, artificial intelligence type things. But they're also rock climbers. 
so many, everyone has some expertise, right? So tapping into that shouldn't be an after school thing. Um, I guess the main thing that I'm getting at that I think we're missing big time is the human capital that goes into buildings five days a week, seven hours a day, adults and kids. What we've been doing with that time, while there's been incredible things that come out of it, and there's obviously it's filled with incredible people, but it's like we're not optimizing ourselves by that scenario. Um, and that is a lot, of, that's a lot of time. A lot of time, a lot of resources. Um, to me, for something, from what I get, secondary ed was created back in 1892 or something for a select few. And now we have everyone doing it. Everyone pretending that they're doing it. Okay, so to me there's incredible things out there. But we, we're almost mindlessly saying, yeah, that's very cool. Let's, let's put it in the school system and add more to the school system. Or let's do it after school. Or let's do it when we're 30. So... Connecting with some of those people, I want to keep in the zoom out mode, I want to keep in the perpetual beta mode, because both of those things I think allow us to see things that we, we keep missing. I'm frustrated because I do wish As much as I hate the microphone, I do wish I had a bigger mic. Because I do feel like this is all-encompassing. But because I don't have a bigger mic, it makes me wonder what I need to be doing in this time, or how I need to be stepping up myself and everything that's going on here.